Good morning, uh, Dr. Vijay Bahadur from the Institute for Success. This morning we're talking about suicide and suicide prevention. I, I unfortunately believe I'm very qualified in this subject, more qualified than many parents and self. And today it is an emotional subject uh, for people out there who have tried or wanted to commit suicide. And what we're trying to do is trying to reach out to you and say, the alternatives. Firstly, what are the alternatives and why do people want to kill themselves? They believe that this will bring an end to suffering, to self. That means all my pain will go away, all my suffering will go away, all the emotional hurt will go away and barely maybe the problems are resolved. Yeah. But unfortunately sometimes that's not the case. You survive. You survive the prevention, you don't die and guess what? You're left with huge uh, hospital bills and you then have to see a psychiatrist, a psychologist and unfortunately the majority of these psychologists and psychiatrists I know they are complete rip-offs and they just take your money, especially if you're medical aid, while they enjoy eating that and guess what? You and your problems are not resolved. Sometimes you'll sit there for five years talking about these problems. So let's talk further. Why do you want to kill yourself? Why do you want to end it all? Do you believe that this will bring end to all? Or maybe it's social conditioning, social proof. Guess what? This icon of yours has killed himself or herself and you now think that this is, a, this is a way to express yourself. Look at Robert Williams. He hung himself with a belt in his room. 60 years old. The best comedian in the entire world. But he couldn't handle his emotions his emotional state. He was going through some problems, he couldn't handle this, so then guess what? He thought killing himself would end it all. But he robbed himself of 25 years of pleasure with his wife, his children, and most importantly with the audience that loves him around the world. Billions of people have seen him. So what are we talking about? Barely we're talking about people that want to kill themselves, but they're not hard to communicate. Yeah. You can reach out to anyone. And the easiest people you can reach out to, they are call free lines to reach out to people to say, listen, uh, my name is John and uh, I'm thinking of killing myself because I'm being frustrated. My mother, my father, my siblings, my girlfriend just left me. I, I lost all my money. What do I do? Oh, I committed a crime. Uh, I've, done, I've done something illegal. And I'm going to go to jail. I know people that went to jail and survived. I know the people that committed a crime and survived. I know people that did something really stupid, made a girl pregnant, for example, and survived. It's for every problem, there's a solution. Our life is built. Our life is built with problems. Take myself. I'm going through a turmoil on my own, but it's the way I handle that. Uh, the way I handle that. And sometimes those answers don't come screaming at you, oh, well, Dr. Vijay Bahadur, this is the solution. It does not come to you. It does not come to you. But what you have to do is reach out, one. Two is self. And who's self? Self is you. What are you worth? What are you worth? You know, I'm doing some research and they say a human body is worth about 85 billion US dollars in atomic energy. The amount of energy we produce for a lifetime can uh, fuel a city of air or for electricity. I haven't completed my research, but that's amazing that they could think a human body could be worth in the billions of dollars of energy. If that is the case, what are you worth? That's assuming, I say, that's assuming my wife finds another man. God, it'll break my heart. I'm going to be married for 22 years, but these things happen. So I can go one, I can go and kill myself. And the mythology of killing myself, take a gun, tablets, run from the bus, jump from the highest building. Or two, I can look at this as a new lease on life. Wow. What do I mean? Firstly, I need to go and get some help. Someone professional yes. Yes. to help me. How do I get through this? My wife finding a younger man or yeah. a richer man. So I need professional help. That's, yeah, maybe I should revert to the psychologist and psychiatrist, but you need them. And maybe they put you on some medication based on who you see. Then you say, what do I want? 
I can go get the most beautiful girl in the world, or maybe I can get baby the richest girl in the world. Well, all the best. Well, you the can best. just buy a car and just. I have a cabriolet. Yeah. I can put the but top that down. Audi R8. That Audi R8 also. I can do that. So, will suicide help me? No, it actually robbed me. Being 47 years old, my lord, it robbed me for 47 more years. I'll be the dumbass. I repeat, I'll be the dumbass of this planet to wanting to do that. What I can do is create a new strategy for someone. I love reading, I love watching movies, I love gambling, and I love making money. Oh, I love sexy women too. So, so what do I want to do? Then maybe I'll go to Dubai, to Cape Town, to Japan, and look around, and play around, and do this, and make money, and do more passion. Yes. Remember, the wife is gone. You've got professional help. You've got a place to communicate. Who you communicate? You have, you have maybe your medication, maybe not. But yeah, again, there was a problem. The quickest was to kill myself. But then I decided not to. Why? Because self. There's so much more to that. And right now, for me, as Dr. Bahala, I want a six-pack. Well, I looked at myself in the mirror this morning, and barely I was looking good. Uh, I was looking good. I had a tough week. I made a seminar, Do Your Fear, uh, on selling. And this thing came back, and Bailey and myself and the team asked me to do this. Social conditioning, social proof. Here's another art artist or uh, actor in Australia who committed suicide with drug overdose. So what happens to our youngsters or to people in society believing, well, Bailey, if these people are ending their lives, yeah. maybe it's a trend. Maybe we should follow this. And the thing is the communication. How do you get to the communication? That's Could all. You talk to anyone. Yeah. You even talk to a stranger on the yeah. bus or taxi. But the best, another form of communication is writing down. Yes. What am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? Yeah. Listen, I think you're absolute crap to me. Say it. If you, nobody wants to listen, write it down. Communicate to someone. Remember, everyone is going through their own problems and their own issues. And we are looking for it. So what is emotion? Emotion basically is communication from your body telling you, as for example, you had a date, the date didn't pitch up. You get very angry. You're getting angry because your standard, you expect this person to be there. Therefore, you're angry. Yes. Or you, you wrote your exam, and you didn't get all A's, you, you're like me, you got an E. Well, I never ever thought of killing myself because I got an E. Now that, that, that may be pressure, then write many letters to your parents or people that are putting you under pressure and say, listen, this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling, and this is again, social conditioning. All my friends will be in university studying this and studying that, and guess what I am? Well, they all have cars, and I'm living in a shack, and this is what I am. So there's many ways to do and not do. But the most important thing, killing yourself is not a solution. Number one, communicate. There are helplines for free. There are channels. There are people who will see you, speak to you. Uh, at the bottom of this video, you'll have a number. If you don't have, call us, we will refer you to someone, a toll-free number that someone can speak to. Our purpose objective is to reach out that there's someone you can communicate. And two, and we love you and we care about you. Thank you very much.